here with Gavin from Country Alliance, which is a uh, political party here in Victoria. Gavin, thanks very much for giving us the time and speaking to us. Can you tell us a bit about the party and uh, how you first got it uh, started? Yeah, thanks. I guess um, the party formed in 2004 out of, I guess, the, the disaffection with what was happening in the political scene in Victoria and around the country. Yep. Uh, the growing party, the growing power of the Greens party yep. and the amount of uh, restrictions and regulations that were being put in place about uh, outdoor activities in Australia yeah. and particularly in Victoria as we formed at that time. Yep. Okay. And uh, what's your sort of, the biggest thing, right, especially from my viewers, would be, what's the uh, party's stance in regards to firearms, recreational shooting, uh, fishing, that sort of thing? Well, I guess we're very pro-fishing, we're very pro-firearms uh, yep. in terms of uh, protecting the rights that we currently have in place, and particularly trying to expand on some other areas as well. So yep. Particularly, we have a policy for the introduction of 260 new ramp sites for boats, boats. for fishing. Yep. So we have a number of uh, instant related policies like that yep. that would actually result in positive uh, aspects coming back to people who visit country areas and people who take their recreation yep. in country areas. Yep. And uh, you guys are only just based here in Victoria at the present time, is that right? Or No, we've just expanded, which has been great. We've been able to sign up Carol Arnold down in Tasmania and Carol okay. mainly from a logging background so yep. that's another very important issue for country people yeah and obviously there's been some big impacts down in Tasmania uh, about logging yep. and also a, a dwindling power of the green the greens down in um, Tasmania yep. uh, makes a big difference to the amount of votes that we can put into yeah. seats down there yep yeah and, and how have you been so far like how have you polled so far since uh, I'm, I'm assuming the, the party's been around for a number of years. So how have you polled since you've yeah. uh, started it? Well, we've actually been around for just 10 years. So okay. we're a very young party. Yep. Uh, um, I guess we, we've run in two Victorian elections so far. And at the first Victorian election, we ran with seven representatives. Yep. At the last Victorian election, we ran with 37 candidates. Okay. So yep. we were able to gain a lot more support yep. out of the people. Um, the name grew a lot during that period of time and it was very much an unanticipated and overwhelming response yeah. to um, the positive things that Country Alliance could do for both people and for the community. Yep. Um, coming up to the federal election, we'll be running in the federal election as well and yep. we'll be running in Tasmania and Victoria. Oh, nice. We'll be running yep. with Andrew Jones in Victoria and we'll be running with Carol in Tasmania. Sure, okay. Well, that's good news. I mean, uh, I, I know personally, coming from a, a country background, um, you know, a lot of a lot of farmers are very uh, disheartened, I suppose, with the major parties, and, and it's a view of a lot of people out there that they feel that they don't listen anymore, and, uh, and I think that's where a lot of interest will come to people like yourself who offer something a little bit different than the mainstream. Well, certainly we found that experience in the last Victorian election, yep. where we ran in the state the seat of northern Victoria yep. we only missed out on winning the seat by 1900 votes yep. and that was 1900 primary votes so votes above Liberal and above Labor yep. uh, we almost outpolled both those parties to win the seat yeah. as it is we didn't get into the seat because we didn't have the preferences behind us at that particular time yep. and other preferences took place okay. that knocked us down the ladder but yep. yes if we had won 1900 <laughs> votes then we would actually have been laughing yeah. right now yep okay and what about uh, for the people who are actually watching this you know at home um, how do they find out a bit more information about your party look at policies perhaps um, and you know get in touch with it so we've got a website and Facebook page up and running um, go to countryalliance.org uh, have a look at the policies there Yep. Certainly go to the Facebook page, leave us some comments, come and friend us. Uh, yeah. We certainly want to gain more support from that point of view and be able to gain ourselves perhaps uh, an extra 1,900 votes is all we need in Victoria yep. to take control of the country areas within Victoria. Yeah. So you know, we're really very close. And what about... 
and, and I know, you know, unfortunately it's the way it is, but elections are always usually money. You need money for advertising and things like that. Um, I imagine people can make donations and help out. Absolutely, and we run on a shoestring. We have no, uh, I guess, um, corporate sponsorship yep. at this time. So we run on the basis of our members and their contributions yep. and by fundraisers that people do for us like uh, Brian Dungey's very involved with uh, Hounds and Hunters and has done some stuff with the Deer Association. So he does some good work for us there. Yep. We have a lot of members who operate like that. Yep. So we have a lot of people who work very much behind the scenes yeah. but with people and gaining individual support rather yep. than working at the upper level and gaining corporate support. Yeah. I mean, I, I've mentioned this previously. I, last year when I spoke to the Shooters and Fishers Party, I said to viewers then about, you know, unfortunately the climate that we're in, um, you know, even people who are in, into recreational fishing, shooters especially, you can't afford to just be sitting at home on the couch um, just letting people do the work for you nowadays. You've got to be active, you've got to be involved. And whether that's by just making a donation or actually even helping out with a fundraiser or yeah. something like that. Yeah. People have to realise that they themselves are their biggest currency. Yep. How they spend themselves is the most that they're going to get back yep. out of government in Australia. So how you actually come out and vote, how you come out on polling day and perhaps support a polling booth, yep. how you actually act within the political community in between by either being a member of a political party yep. or by supporting a political party and like at country lines where all amateurs, yep. nobody's doing this professionally, yeah. it's just whoever gets off their bum gets in there and does the yeah. job. Yeah, We're absolutely. To, uh, all of us have other businesses, all of us have other lives. Yep. We're not professional politicians, yep. we, uh, we're out there to get a job done for us and people like us. Yeah, yeah, absolutely. All right, guys, well, look, there you have it. There's a bit about uh, the party if you want to uh, have a look. Uh, I'll actually put their website under this video uh, so you can check it out in your own time. So thanks very much for your time, Gavin. Really appreciate it. No problem. Cheers, Thank mate. You.